for Thursday. Uh, we're looking at activity three for themes and poetry. Uh, for this one, you're gonna use the menu um, down below to write a poem that conveys a certain theme. So the box on the left gives you what form you're gonna use, and then the box on the right tells you what theme then you have to write about. Uh, you can choose a combination of any right box with any left box, so you don't have to do Diamante, Life is Hard. You could do Cinquain, Life is Hard, and mix those up a little bit. Um, or you could write an ode about how hard life is. You can use this as your resource, and I'll also include the link in Google Classroom. Uh, if you don't remember what the different types of poems are, um, this will give you that information. If you just scroll down, it'll have the different types of poems and the requirements for each of those different types of poems. So, for example, um, let's skip. Haiku, if you remember, is three lines long. And it has five, seven, five. So five syllables in the first line, seven syllables in the second line, and another five syllables in the third line to make a total of 17 syllables. An acrostic, you guys have done this in class. Uh, you're gonna spell out a word down the left-hand side, and then you have to find start that line with the letter that is there. Concrete poem takes the shape of whatever you're talking about. Um, seal is one and it makes it look like a seal swimming in the water as they write the words. A limerick is um, usually a funny poem. Um, it, it's distinctive because it's two longer lines, two shorter lines, and then the closing line usually makes a joke. A ballad is just, um, like if you want to read a story, it's going to be a ballad in the poetry form, but it's going to tell a story. Uh, Tanka is a five line poem. The first and third lines have five syllables, uh, and the other lines have seven syllables each. Free verse, there is no rules. You can do whatever you want with a free verse poem. Didn't have it listed. A uh, diamante poem is just a poem that takes the shape of a diamond. So the first line and the last line have one word. Uh, there's two words on the second line and the second to last line. Three words on the third line and that in, ends up making a nice diamond shape. 